Hi, I'm Eric Pratt, and this afternoon I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, these Scarhoy controllers. Today we have the MC4 and the MC10. These are some of the medium-sized controllers that Scarhoy has, and these particular units are great for controlling PTZ cameras, among other things. The MC10 was particularly designed for um, use to control PTZ cameras. The MC4 is a multifunctional unit. Uh, it has these nice little um, LED uh, displays uh, over here so they can tell you what each button is doing. And the really neat thing about the Scarhoy um, controllers is they're module, modular. So we can take them and just snap them together, give them a little bit of power. And the cores that we've uh, uploaded to them uh, boot the system up and automatically begin to tell uh, the system exactly what you want it to do. For example, if I wanted to recall a preset, I just hit this preset here and the camera automatically goes where I want it to. So the camera will follow me around depending on which, uh, which of these different um, presets I've programmed or I could add a new preset. One of the other neat things about the uh, Scarhoy products is you can actually pan and zoom them, at, uh, the PTZ cameras at the same time. So I'm going to program this uh, fourth input here, this fourth preset, by holding it down until it turns green. And now I'm going to go to another preset. So it's going to go look up at the screen. I hit the wrong preset. And now it's going to zoom in on that last one. And then back to me. So the presets give you different easy ways of memorizing different positions. Uh, you can have up to 16 of them per camera. So these are the different um, camera selectors. And then there's a variety of different encoders here that you can use to set things like uh, exposure mode. If I change the exposure mode to you know, manual, I can adjust the iris and the gain. Um, I can also map these different inputs. So why don't I take you through uh, the UI. Scarhoy has a browser-based method for controlling and configuring its different control surfaces. I can actively go in here and add different devices, like the PTZ Optics uh, device or the vMix device, and those show up as options in these dropdowns. For example, if I wanted to go into this encoder, and select what it controls. Currently, it's controlling the exposure mode for a PTZ optics device. I also have the option for it to, for example, control the flicker mode or the white balance uh, saturation. And then I can connect that to this display up here and say, what do I want this to show? I want it to show this encoder. These different buttons down here, I have them currently set to select uh, the camera input. So this is selecting camera one. If I wanted to have it select different cameras, I could do that as well. If I had more than four cameras, I could come over here and say, I want these to be my camera uh, input selects and then these to be my presets. Or I could have these be the presets across the top and I could have these ones along the bottom be my vMix uh, active source. So I can select which input uh, on vMix it is and then Last, uh, we have the different controls for um, controlling the PTZ camera itself. It's pan and tilt and zoom. So right now, the, um, the outer wheel is set to control zoom. There's also a tap button uh, on the top for, um, currently it's set to focus uh, on one push. And then the outer uh, for the pan and tilt, we can set it up to have different speed limits. So those are some of the different um, aspects of the Scarhoy control surfaces. Once we've done uh, configuring this, we can go save settings and then we go to our updater, which we've connected the, um, the control surface to um, our system here via a USB cable. And that's only while um, you're, you're doing this kind of configuration. Ordinarily, the system is just connected via Ethernet. And we're going to click check for updates. And it's going to go out to the server, which we've just told we like this configuration. Uh, all of these 
different settings that we've gone through and, and adjusted, whether it's the encoders or different inputs, um, whatever those settings are, we've now told, told it to create a core. It's called, in our case, user configuration three. And then once that's saved on the server and we tell the local updater, uh, the local updater checks to see if there's an update and says the firmware upgrade file is being generated on the server. So right now on the Scarhoy server, um, the system is creating a firmware file which will be downloaded and automatically installed on the um, Scarhoy control surface. Now that the firmware has been downloaded, it's been installed on the control surface and the firmware has been updated. Any time that the system powers on now, it will come with the configuration that we just set it for. Now we can go back in, and just as before, we've got all of our presets that we've created that let us control where the PTZ camera goes, when, and how fast. All of the Scarhoy mo uh, modules uh, in the MC family are uh, able to connect together. There's a bunch of different ones that let you do a variety of things. They include uh, T-bars, audio faders, view meters. Um, there's a whole suite in this form factor, and then there's a larger form factor called the XC series, which has more options and encoders. The Scarhoy products give you an amazing amount of flexibility uh, and control over a variety of devices. Uh, if we go back into here and we take a look at the different devices that are available, you can see that there's um, an incredible list, whether it's uh, AJA, Atomos, numerous black magic configurations, um, Epifan Pearl, Grass Valley Kayak, uh, Matrox, PTZ Optics, of course, Ross, um, Sony. The controls are literally quite extensive. A single control surface can be made to control a number of different um, manufacturers' products. So you can actually use a single manufacturer's control surface to control a variety of different PTZ cameras, routers, switchers, uh, and so on, making it a really ideal uh, method of pulling your different all of your different manufacturers' uh, controls together under a single control. If you have any questions about the Scarhoy control surfaces, of course, please feel free to reach out, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks again.